Look at my Metro map interface. Here, as usual, I get to select my start and stop stations. For example, I'm going from, say, Sprite Land to my blocks. I can calculate the fare as usual. It comes to 120 rupees because on the scratch line, I charge 20 rupees per station. But now see carefully, I have some options over here. I say, well, look, I'm a regular traveler. I have a Metro card. Now, this is very common in a lot of Metro systems. When I now calculate the fare, I get a 10% discount. Let's say furthermore, I'm okay to travel in the off peak hours. Maybe let's say not the school time or the office times. When I do this, let's say I get a further discount of 5%. Say I'm not a Metro card holder, but I'm ready to travel off peak. Well, I'll get a 5% discount at 120. So that's a 6 rupee discount. Now these numbers are, you know, just let's say uh, representative. But the whole idea is that notice here we have given these check boxes, which allow my user to choose one or more options. And accordingly, I give, let's say, a discount. Welcome back, my friends. We are looking at enhancing the Metro Map project from the YByte Python curriculum available at www.ybyte.in. In this video, we will see how we can get this kind of flexibility on our, let's say, GUI. So the basic idea is that, you know, we will add these checkboxes on the GUI. And we will do this by adding a new widget, which is called the check button. As the name suggests, it's basically you can check it to sort of select it. And this is obviously quite useful. We see this kind of things in real GUIs. But as with every widgets, remember, the whole principle is first define, then place, and finally build the functionality. So that's what we'll do. We will define two checkboxes here. I call them C1 and C2. Uh, name doesn't matter. But important point here is these are check buttons. I put them on the window. I put them with this text, Metro card holder. Now I'm linking this to an intware Metro card. Now tk.intware basically it's like a tick inter integer variable. Like I said, think of this like a conduit between regular Python variables and let's say this, you know, uh, this checkbox. So what I'm saying is that, look, if I select this checkbox, this value will be one else this value will be zero. So now we will, you know, uh, use this convention that if I check this on value is one off value zero. And similarly, I'll put one more button called off peak, which is basically, let's say I call it C2. Again, the text is off peak hours. And this time the variable is called off peak. This is again a TK intware, a conduit between regular Python and TKinter. Selected value value becomes one, non-selected value becomes zero. Now I'm using the place method over here because I want to precisely place them at a given X and Y. With pack, that's not so you know easy to do. So I just use the place method over here. Let's first do this much, and then we'll come back and see how we build the functionality. So I come into my code over here. Remember, I'm creating these two labels, the start and stop, these two option menus. Right at this point, I can go and create my checkboxes. So I'm going to say, well, look, Metro, Metro card is, let's say, I, I define it. So Metro card is, let's say, TK dot, say, uh, Intuar. Now this intuar is really similar to what we had done string word earlier, just that these values will be an integer. So I'm going to say, well, C1 um, is, let's say, TK dot say check button. Uh, in fact, the, you know, the, the widget is there. So just use that. And I say, well, it has to be on window. I want the text to be, let's say, uh, you know, uh, say Metro, say uh, Metro card holder. And, you know, I will say, well, look, variable is equal to, let's say, metro, say, metro card. So it's like that's the conduit for this particular uh, checkbox. And here the on value is, let's say, one and off value is, say, zero. Now, this is uh, just sort of defining the widget. Let us place this and I'll use the place method for this. So I go and say, well, look, c1 dot place and I do this as say x equals to 50 and say y equals to 400. Now having done this, I'm going to just copy this whole code and place it once again. Uh, this time around, I'm going to call it, let's say off peak. So that is sort of, let's say O-F-F-P-E-A-K. Uh, that's another TK to our, I call this, let's say C2. Now this one, I'm going to have the text as, let's say, uh, you know, maybe let's say off, so off say peak hours. And here I'm going to say, look, my uh, uh, my variable here is called off peak. So that's my, uh, you know, the conduit for this particular, let's say, uh, uh, checkbox. Again, on value zero, uh, on value is one, off value zero. 
Of course, I must have, let's say, C2 dot place. And I'm using, you know, say, Y of 4, 400 420 respectively, so that these two come sort of a little bit one over the other. When I run this piece of code, notice I get my two, you know, uh, uh, let's say, uh, two uh, checkboxes available to me. Obviously, right now, the functionality is not built in. So, which means that, for example, if I do sprite line to escape character, it's 150 rupees. That's because four stations on the scratch line, two on the Python line, and you know a 10 rupee surcharge to say cross the lines now the point is now let's see how we can give the functionality so that's not too hard in fact what i'm going to do is that i'm going to just come into my you know define let's uh, to my say say the calculate fair uh, you know um uh, or the calculate let's say uh, definition the function first thing i'm going to do is to read off if uh, you know these two let's say in twice so i'm going to say just like i did start station dot get stop station dot get i'm going to call it let's say metro card dot get now like i said the metro card is an int where so this card is a python variable uh which is either zero or one so if, depending on if i select a metro card this is one or it is a zero likewise i just read one more let's say you know a regular python variable i just call it let's say you know this is of say peak dot say get now with this my information that the GUI has uh, you know that the user has entered in the uh, graphical user interface is now available to me i can make use of this so basically i compute the fare now at this point i'm just going to set my dct to say zero that is let's say a discount so let me just put a comment here discount say you know i give it a zero discount now depending on if my user has let's say selected the card, so I'm going to say DCT is equal to let's say 0 0.1 times CARD times fare. Now this is interesting because remember if the user has selected Metro card, the card becomes one, and I'm saying okay, look, I'm giving you a 10% discount. Furthermore, let's say the user has selected you know uh, off peak, so I just go and say well DCT is equal to DCT, so I'm going to discount on top of the Metro card and say 5%, so 0 0.05 times let's say O F F P K. Be careful. Use right one. We must use the Python variable right now here, the regular Python variable. And I do this fair minus T C T. Now, why do I do this? Because I'm giving a further discount on what I've given. So I, you know, now compute five percent of fair minus discount. However, notice if I do not select the card and I select only, let's say, the off P cards. Well, then this T C T is zero at over this point. So I'll get just a five percent discount on my original fair. And I think this idea is fairly simple. Once I do this, I just set my fare to, let's say, fare minus DCT. And, and this is it. Uh, when I run this code now, let's say I want to go from Sprite Land to, say, Turtle Park. Now, we know that the regular fare for this is 210 rupees because four stations here, you know, uh, one, two, three, four stations here. So that's like uh, 120 plus 200 and 10 rupees, say, for surcharge for changing stations. But if I am I'm a Metro card holder, well, I am going to get a 10% discount and indeed the fare dramatically drops down to say 189 rupees. If I am an off-peak user, I get a further discount of let's say uh, almost 10, you know, 10.5 uh, rupees. So that, that's what it becomes. Now, if I'm only an off-peak rider, not a Metro card holder, well, I will get a 10% discount. So that's 10.5, I will get a 5% discount, sorry. So that's a 10.5 rupees discount at 200. And you see that this becomes quite kind of realistic to what we actually use. I hope you found this useful. In general, if you think this way of learning works for you, where we build activities, we try to keep them realistic. We try to enhance them after building them. Look at our website because that is how we learn Python programming. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.